Now, I'm prepared to do almost anything on four wheels. I've driven a Grand Prix car around Monte Carlo. I've raced at Le Mans at 200 miles an hour in the dark. And I've scared myself silly in a 3,000 horsepower dragster. But I'm never, ever going to do this. I got really addicted to it for a while. It's about getting the, the shot, you know, it's about getting the, the footage of this thing happening. I think we've done 15 of them or so. Joe Jennings, a veteran aerial cameraman from Redondo Beach, California, was bored filming skydivers diving, so he decided to film them driving. What turned me on about the stunt, other than just throwing the car, was figuring out how to get jumpers in it and to make it fly so that they could stay in it and take a ride. My favorite so far is is a Honda Civic. It's just a good car. It's got good flight characteristics. <laughs> I don't know why, you know, but but we started pushing them out and they seem to fly nice. We got a bit of a handle on how to configure them so that they would stay wheels to earth. And once we started to figure that out, it was kind of hard to change cars. The first thing we do is we take take the roof off, and you also want to get rid of any anything in the car that could possibly snag a jumper's container or anything on the jumper. So you tape over all of the jagged parts and all of the parts that might hook something, and, and you set it up so that essentially the car wants to throw you out. We actually had uh, one of our camera flyers get run over in free fall by the car. It has a tendency to just fly all over the sky. A car that's falling flat wheels to earth obviously is gonna fall a lot slower than a car that tips up on its nose. And when a car tips up on its nose, all of a sudden it's, it's headed in the direction that it was built for and it just takes off. When a car is, is falling wheels to earth really smooth and everything, the jumpers can look at each other and, and talk. And then of course they have to climb out and jump away from it. These arms are the spotters who stand next to the camera people who are looking up to make sure that the car is not coming down on them. Of course, if it is, you abandon the camera and run. You have to go through a process of getting permits and then you do it on an area that's designated as a, like a drop test area where they crash things into the ground anyway. Things are always crashing into the ground there. like art, you know, it, it, for me really it, it, it's like art. I look at these cars, every time I land I look at them and it's like, wow, cool, you know. Joe's next project is to sky drive and destroy SUVs. And if you want to know more, check out our website. <laughs>